this is a driveway. That's ground level window. That house is smoking. New Zealand's largest city has declared a state of emergency after torrential rain prompted widespread flooding and evacuations. Friday's downpour in Auckland shifted houses, stalled traffic and cut power to homes and businesses. The city is said to have received 75% of its usual summer rainfall in just 15 hours. The impacts of the last 24 hours will be felt by many in Auckland for a long time, said the national forecaster. Auckland's mayor, Wayne Brown, has confirmed media reports that a body had been found in Wairau Valley on Auckland's North Shore. Mr. Brown has said he is deeply saddened by the news. Police have not confirmed whether the death is linked to the flooding. He has also said infrastructure and emergency services had been overwhelmed by the impacts of the storm. In a statement, Fire and Emergency New Zealand said it had been dealing with roughly 1,500 calls for assistance. The New Zealand Defence Force is helping with evacuations and emergency shelters have been set up across the city. Meanwhile, the mayor has defended himself against criticism that he was too slow to declare a state of emergency, saying he followed advice from experts. Ricardo Menendez Marge, a Green MP and Auckland resident, told the BBC that the area he lived in was quickly flooded and he had to evacuate, but was given shelter by a friend nearby. There were people who were unfortunately not as lucky, low-income communities, disabled people, migrant communities as well, he said. Major roads were also blocked off by the floods, causing long traffic queues on highways, with several traffic accidents reported. The flooding also disrupted travel to and from Auckland Airport. Domestic and international flights have now been grounded until at least 5 o'clock on Sunday.